this work? Lionfish for dinner. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. <laughs> He's a big guy. Hi, we are Kyle and Missy, and this is a little glimpse of our life on and off our beautiful boat, Makushla. After spending two seasons on the Great Lakes, refitting and getting to know our new home, we sailed her down to the Caribbean. An amazing, brutal, beautiful, grueling journey that has brought us to where we are today. If you see us out and about, come say hi. We love meeting new peeps and sharing stories. And as always, thanks for watching, subscribing, and supporting. St. Vincent. Pretty calm day. How are you doing, Missy? Pretty good. Good. After sale feast. What were the. And the siesta. And the siesta for you for sure. What was it? 100 miles? What did it end up being? 115. 115 in how many hours? Oh, we did in like 16 hours. Yeah, it's like record. 16 speed. hours. 16, 17 hours. Pulled out jib. Ran the whisker pole the whole way. And only got, well, I don't, I can't speak to anything because I slept from 6 p.m. <laughs> Until we got back, so we got in, but it got rough coming through the gap between the islands. How fast was the current? Oh, it's the current around the corner of St. Vincent, like two knots, with the opposing 25 knot winds. Psst, psst. Felt like you were in the Gulf Stream. Yeah. <laughs> Wild. First stop in St. Vincent, customs and immigration. This is my favorite customs office yet. Customs office, Pirates of the Caribbean set. But they're only open from five to six. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every third Monday. <laughs> By this point, the challenges of checking in are becoming less and less shocking. Kyle headed back the next day. And after a tree's worth of paperwork and an ink pad worth of official stamps, we were officially in. Free to move about and explore this beautiful country. Bye, France. Hello. St. Vincent. Cumberland and St. Vincent. It's a must stop, by the way, if you're coming through here. It's just a really cool little bay, and there's um, the guys on the boats are awesome. They like bring you fresh fruits and take your garbage, do whatever you need. I would warn you though, Wednesdays get really, really, really crazy busy. <laughs> it was kind of fun, but it gets a little bit uh, hairy trying to get a spot in there. Yeah, we're on the way to Blue Lagoon, I think, just depending on how how it goes. We heard it might be a little bit rolly in there with this north swell, so we might just keep going to Beckway. We'll see, but uh, our buddies on Sonder told us about this beautiful hike on the rock that's just outside of the anchorage there, so I'm pretty excited to go see that. 
we'll see. I also, you know, I'm a little bit apprehensive about rolling anchor chase. Oh look, it's where Pirates of the Caribbean was filmed. Anybody recognize it? I legit don't. I need to watch those movies again. Beckway and I can see why everybody loves this place. Cruiser's Paradise they call it. There's like little boats that come around and bring you diesel and water and they'll do your laundry obviously at an insane premium but it's there if you need it and it's absolutely beautiful and gorgeous. We went out to this really cute little pizza place last night that was phenomenal. Surprisingly the sear tuna was um, to die for. And the pizza was really good too, but I definitely got some tuna. Yeah, so now it's adulting day. Okay, so we're in the middle of the coronavirus pandemonium, pandemic, panic, panic attack, whatever's going on. Um, but either way, there's rumors that the marinas are going to be shutting down. Kind of scary. So we are stocking up on water and fuel. Actually, it rained today. So our tanks are full, but now we're waiting for the diesel man to come fill us up on diesel because Kyle is concerned we're gonna get down to Kiriakou and the, they're not gonna have diesel down there. Well now we'll be ready to live like completely isolated for the next three months. Yeah, but now we'll have, I've got pasta I guess. Some cartons of milk. Thank goodness for the long shelf life milk down here. Gotta have my cereal. Yeah, gotta have the cereal and gotta have the coffee. <laughs> 
As news of the virus and its impact quickly spread to the Caribbean, we realized we had some big decisions to make and make them quickly. We watched as virtually an entire bay pulled anchor and sailed away, some desperate to make it back to their home countries before the borders would be closing, others desperate to make it to Grenada before hurricane season. Within hours, Beckway was transformed from a bustling anchorage full of cruise ships, charters, and liveaboards alike to an eerily quiet, secluded bay, a few stragglers left in shock and awe, anxiously wondering if we made the right decision to stay. As you will continue to see, in the long run, our decision to stay in SVG ultimately proved to be beautifully serendipitous. But as all hard decisions go, at the time it was incredibly gut-wrenching and unsettling. Torn between desperately wanting to be near family, close to the comforts and security of home, and the reality of knowing we could safely hunker down away from civilization while sustainably living off the sea. We prepped our home as best we could and headed out to quarantine at one of the many uninhabited islands of the Grenadines. We made the best of our time in this beautiful space, all the while clinging to any small bits of communication that managed to make it through from friends and family, anxious for their well-being, constantly questioning if we made the right choice to stay, the what-ifs and woulda, coulda, shouldas always at the forefront of our brains. made it in. This remote little island. It's a completely uninhabited island. It's gorgeous. fish for dinner. That's the biggest one I've ever seen. <laughs> He's a big guy. Stay away from that. Those guys. Okay, so it's day two, maybe three, since the crazy coronavirus hit the Caribbean and the U.S. kind of started blocking all the borders. So we're still here in the same little spot. Um, it's kind of weird filming this because there's a lot of like uncertainty and unrest and we don't really know what's going to happen while I'm filming it but I know by the time I make the video and put it out there's going to be either like amazing solutions or not so great so anyway just bear with me as I just film this yeah we're making the best of it we're we stocked up on supplies and we're just kind of hunkered down here waiting to hear from anyone. Um, most of the islands are shut down now. Grenada, I believe, is still open with a 14-day quarantine on your boat, so um, we're not in a rush to get down there if everything's kind of still in a hub. So Kyle's actually doing boat projects that we've been putting off forever. Um, I'm reassessing all of our supplies and cleaning house. It's a good time to like spring clean, scrub. We got sprouts going and some chives. Pretty cool. Uh, so this is just like a mason jar I had and I did layers of eggshells, coffee grounds, eggshells, coffee grounds, eggshells. Yeah, from some chives that we had. So as I cut them off and use them, I just stick the roots in there and they've been growing. So there you go, a little cruiser tip. All right, check back with you soon. Been working on getting these doors to seal. Well, Kyle installed these guys before we did passage and now they're rusting out. So we gotta come up with a new solution. I say I'm over it, I'm over it, over it, but I'm not over it, it's not over us, not over it. I say I'm over it, I'm over it, I'm over it.
Okay you guys, so I'm just uploading our latest Atlantic video and I just got a message from Mercury Marine. Look at that, look at that. Do you guys recognize that guy? I don't, he's so clean cut there. That's Kyle, ha! Oh, my hand is in there somewhere. Anyway, they're using, we did a, a like a shoot with them. If you haven't seen the video already, it's kind of cool. Go check it out. Um, just go to the Mercury Marine YouTube or Facebook page. But I guess now they're using some of the photos that they took for their campaign. Have I expressed my excitement? I just think it's really cool. That's our little ketchup, our little dinghy. 